Hi, welcome back to the shop. Today, I've got a fun story for you. My wife, well, she's a woman of many talents, but there's one particular skill that she has that I really enjoy. It's not what you think. In this situation, she's got a knack for finding good deals on things. Well, I recently had a birthday and she got a really good deal on something that I've had my eyes on for a little while. Let me show you what it is. In this box is an Anycubic Photon Mono X resin 3D printer. She found this for nearly half price on Amazon. I don't know how she does it, but more power to her. For this video, I'm going to be unboxing this, putting it together, and giving you a quick overview. This is not going to be a how-to guide or a review itself. Those are going to come in later videos. So cue the intro and let's get started. Alrighty then. I had to get a step stool because with the height of my bench, and the size of this box, I just couldn't see or reach the top of it. Short people problems. I will say that they packaged this very nicely. It's got these hard plastic corners on all four sides, I would assume on the bottom of the box too, to protect it from corner impacts. Very good on you, Anycubic. Nice dense foam at the top. Cut out to the shape of the top of the printer. Ooh. We have assembly instructions and a leveling card. More foam. All right. Build plate. power adapter, a nice metal spatula with a nice sharp edge on there. I like that. The resin vat. Looks like a, a mask and some filters for your resin and uh, a bag of accessories, some Allen wrenches, a USB card, the Wi-Fi antenna, pair of gloves. Nice of them to include that. Oof. All right. Got a pile of stuff here. And the printer. Anything else in here? Just some foam. Alrighty then. And that's all the pieces. It's really not that much. These resin printers are pretty simple machines. And I gotta hand it to Anycubic for the design of this thing. It looks absolutely amazing and it's built extremely well. I mean, this sucker's got some weight to it and the addition of the dual linear rails for the Z-axis is a great plus. It really is gonna make sure this thing stays stable and you don't get any later shifts as it builds in the vertical. Now for my favorite parts, the peel. Some quick stats about the machine. It's got a build volume of 120 millimeters by 192 millimeters by 245 millimeters high. It's got a 4K monochromatic LCD screen with a resolution of 3840 by 2400. It's actually a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which is nice of them to have to give us a little bit more of the depth in the build volume. Underneath is a 120 watt LED ultraviolet light. They call it a matrix array. With the high powered UV light array underneath, combined with the monochromatic screen, this thing is gonna print very fast. I can't wait to get it together and get printing with it just to see how good it is. So I'm gonna finish assembling this thing and then I'm gonna print the test file that comes on the provided USB stick. I'm excited to see how it turns out.
The resin we're going to be using is this Anycubic Aqua Blue. I think the test print will look really good in this loud and fun color. Awesome, test print complete. Now I just need to wash and cure this thing. How am I gonna do that? All right, that'll work. All right, that's all washed up. Let's take it out and see how it looks. I would say that's extremely clean. I'll let that dry for a few minutes. It's dry. I'd say I did a fantastic job printing this. And there you have it, the Anycubic Photon Mono X with the cameo appearance with the Anycubic Wash and Cure Station Plus. This thing deserves a video of its own and that's gonna come in the future. As for this thing, with my experience with other resin printers, this one really takes the cake. It absolutely blew away my expectations. I'm gonna spend some more time with it and print a lot more stuff in some different resins and I'm going to be giving you a complete full review video of the printer. For you beginners out there, I'm going to be doing a full how-to series for resin 3D printing. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any notifications for my future content. And as always, thanks for watching and happy 3D printing. Oof, short people problems.